and welcome ICS 2 folks. Uh, lesson 1.2, a very short note on programming languages. Before we get into the the actual lesson, um, how these videos are going to work. Of course, I'm I'm uh, talking away and and you're listening to me. Um, you need to be taking the note here. So you're going to uh, create a version of this and whatever whatever note taking program you feel comfortable with. It might be Google Docs or it might be it might be Smart Notebook um, or it could be something like Open Office or Word Perfect, whichever one you use. And so you're going to have sort of me chatting away on one half of your screen and then you typing in the other half of the screen. Um, and that'll work just fine. If you'd rather sort of watch the video on your phone and type it in on the computer, you could do that as well. That, uh, that'll work. But you do need at the end of this to have a note called one uh, underscore two programming languages and then you'll save that in your unit one notes folder. Okay, so programming languages. And this, you're typing this out. If I go too fast, you can pause and catch up. A programming language is a formal constructed language used to communicate instructions to a machine. And that machine's usually a computer, but not always. So this idea of a formal constructed language and it has to be communicating instructions. All right, that's what makes a programming language. So is Scratch a programming language? Well, is it constructed? Well, we snap those blocks together. That's how we're constructing the language. Do we cons uh, communicate instructions to ma a machine? Yes, of course we do. So this is a pro Scratch is a computer uh, a programming language. Uh, next, so a program is just a set of instructions used to perform a specific task. So when we collect up our instructions and it has some sort of task, like to get the cat to to um, say hello world to the screen, um, that's a specific task. Now I mentioned that it was usually a computer. The first programs weren't, and you don't, by the way, you don't have to go get these pictures. This is just for helping me tell a story here. The fir very first programs um, were, and the very first programming languages were in these punch cards. So this is a, a, a piece of cardboard and the instructions were punched out with a hole punch and put into this this uh, not a computer. This is actually a loom. A loom is something that's used in weaving, weaving uh, like carpets together or fabric together. That's called a jacquard loom. And so this was an automated process, uh, and it sped up the the uh, production of of carpet making quite quickly once it was automated with computer programs. That was a long time ago. All right. Next, source code is the instructions written by programmers. So that source code, is, and this actually is Java. Remember, uh, Java is the, the programming language that they use in ICS3U and ICS4U. Um, and that's what the source code looks like. And it, it, it looks odd, but we can certainly read it. Hello, J button, add action listener, whatever that means, we can actually read that. The computer doesn't understand that. So after we do the source code, and again, you don't need to find a picture. You can do that if you like, but that's not necessary. Certainly the typing here that you need to copy. Where the source code is changed to machine code by the software you're using to write your programs. So that would be Scratch's job is to take those little yellow and purple blocks and change them into zeros and ones is what, what the computer can understand and then the computer responds accordingly. Um, we'll talk more about the zeros and ones in machine code when we get to our unit on ha hardware and software, but that's not for a little while. Again, remember, if I'm going too fast, pause or go back. Uh, all right, I think we got one more sheet left. Scratch is a drag and drop programming language. So that, that specific type of programming that you do where, where you click on, on stuff and drag it into your to the middle screen to, to assemble your programs, that's called drag and drop program. Um, pictures or diagrams are used as instructions that, instead of words or symbols. So most programming language, most big boy and girl uh, programming languages look more like this. They're text-based. But to get going, to get started, 
we're using Scratch, which is a drag and drop language, and actually it's it's pretty fun. And hopefully you'll see when we start using our text-based programming language, it's pretty fun as well. So Turing, Java, and JavaScript are examples of more traditional text-based programming languages. Like I said, like that one right there. That's a text-based programming language versus Scratch, which is drag and drop. Uh, and there you go. Remember Java? That's used by the three U's and four U's. JavaScript is the, what the three C's behind you are, are will be using. Right now they're not using JavaScript, but they will be soon. And you don't have to uh, write this this down. Anything that goes in a, a red cloud like this, this is a thought cloud. You don't have to copy this sentence down. Turing and Scratch are both learning languages. So they're not used in the real world to solve big programming problems. These are used, Turing and Scratch, the ones that we'll be using in grade 10, are used just for learning programming. But Java and JavaScript, they're used all over the place. You know, they say JavaScript uh, is the most widely used programming language in the world, and I know Java, Java, you get those stupid updates on your computer all the time. There's all sorts of devices that use Java. So these two are very, very widely used. And Java also uh, looks a lot like other programming languages uh, that are used in the real world, like C. I believe, I think the next one is for the other, yeah, that's it for this lesson. And save up, uh, and you go on with the next thing. Follow along on the website. Remember to save up and put this in the right folder.